so one could try to say, you know, so, so we want to uh, capture security with different frameworks and different, uh, sorry, different uh, protocols, different situations. Um, if, and why not just try to, to have a definition or framework that captures specific situations? This is actually what people have been doing in the past, definitely in crypto and also in other situations. I want to analyze security of this particular uh, protocol, uh, uh, you know, encryption protocol, uh, 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 key exchange protocol, uh, 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 whatever, uh, file system. So let's try to, uh, to, to write a model that, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, uh, that fits well within the, for this particular task and analyze, write the model, write the requirement, formulate the, the, uh, the, the protocols within that model and, and, and do proof of security. And you actually can get very nice things and, and the models are kind of like relatively simple and easy and si because they, they are kind of uh, tailored to specific applications so they can be simple. Uh, you, kind of, you don't need many details that other models need. Um, but here I'd like to, to, to advocate uh, the, another approach, which is the approach of, of, of this UC framework, which is actually try to do something the opposite way, try to have one model that captures uh, uh, all concerns, all tasks, everything that, that's out there. It some, seems kind of like uh, 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 ambitious, but let's try to advocate that, if we can actually do it. Uh, right, so, so that's uh, for, to, you know, in favor of uh, a general model for security analysis. So, uh, uh, so if, we, if we manage to do it, then definitely we get a better understanding of security overall. We can actually actually capture things from many different uh, 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 situations, environments, concerns, etc. They all kind of fit within the same model. We can actually understand them better. And this kind of goes to this uh, statement from before that definitions cannot be wrong, can just be surprising. So maybe this way we can actually have a way to have them be less surprising in the sense that we kind of get a better understanding of where they lead elsewhere and how they compare to other things um, within that framework. Um, and then uh, uh, we, 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 if we do that, if you have one single framework, we get better expressibility because again, we can express uh, 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 co uh, concerns that apply to many situations. Uh, and hopefully if we do it right, kind of more refined concerns very, uh, fi to fine tune the, the, uh, the requirements. And, and the analysis is going to be more meaningful again, just because it applies to, to all situations. Um, and then of course, it naturally leads to modularity and composability. Uh, in some sense, composability is always, you know, if, if what, you mean, what does composability means that kind of it's a high word. We're going to talk about it much more, but security preserving composition of of uh, of, of systems or protocols. Uh, this is only uh, meaningful to the extent of of the framework in which you're seeing it. So, if you have a, a, a general framework, that means composability is more meaningful. Um, and, uh, and, and then I want to argue that, uh, uh, the, that uh, overall, it simplifies the analytical work. Uh, because you have to kind of do, uh, understand this model once and, 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 and work on it once. And, and once you f formulate things within it, you actually uh, uh, get a gain for, 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 for the future. Because it's just uh, uh, one, big, uh, one uh, investment and then later you can just reuse it as opposed to just develop new models every time for, for every new situation. Um, and of course there are the, the cons, so the model can be complex. And as you'll see, it's, not, it's, gonna, be, it's gonna be complex. It, you know, there have been attempts over the years to, to try to simplify it as much as possible, but it's still gonna be complex. And we'll discuss some trade-offs. Uh, and, and it's gonna be hard to get right. And in fact, uh, as you know, so over the years there have been bugs and corrections and things, so this thing is not just like came from the sky uh, uh, all, all, all wrapped up. And in fact, there could still be bugs out there. Uh, so, but that's kind of like, uh, that's, uh, that's part of the work, right? We're doing our best. But at least there is a clear goal of why, of why it's good. Could be good. Uh, anyway, so that's the uh, uh, um, kind of the general philosophy. Um, okay, so, so let's try to, 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 to see what's out there and let's try to see uh, uh, what we can use and what we have to do from scratch. So, uh, um, so, so there are actually uh, general purpose uh, analytical frameworks for distributed systems, for concurrent systems, uh, uh, 
for, for, for just computer systems in general uh, out there. In fact, maybe I should have said you know, the lambda calculus first. Uh, uh, then there is a uh, uh, CSP uh, of, of four, which is again uh, it's it's a way to 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 formally specify properties of uh, uh, distributed asynchronous uh, uh, networks. Uh, there is the PI calculus, which is another framework for, for capturing uh, 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 processes in uh, asynchronous uh, uh, distributed networks and properties of these pro uh, processes. Uh, and there is the SPI calculus, which is uh, uh, a security slant of the PI calculus. It actually has some, some, some mechanisms to, to capture security properties, such as uh, uh, secrecy. Uh, 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 and, uh, and correctness against uh, uh, malicious attack. Um, and uh, there is the IO Automata, which is yet another uh, framework, um, which is, again, very, the, the, the whole approach there, the whole idea there was to be very modular uh, and to, to capture in a very abstract way uh, um, distributed systems, uh, asynchronous, uh, and use the same model to do things in a very uh, 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 fine grain, in a very a uh, 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 wide, uh, uh, large grain of systems. Uh, and there are many others. This is just a small sample. Um, but uh, uh, so, and, 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 and the, the, the good things about these things, and the, the verifies, it's been around for a while, uh, and there's in fact some automated analysis for some of them. So, so it's really tempting to use them. Um, but they have some uh, things that uh, make them not perfect for. Um, so, so first, in all of these, uh, it's not easy to model computational concerns, and which is something that we have to do, definitely if you want to do cryptographic analysis, but even if you don't care about specific about cryptography, all security analysis, you have to worry about, about uh, resources of, this firm, of, the, of, the, uh, uh, of the system, of the attacker, and, uh, and modeling computational uh, resources within these frameworks is not easy. Uh, like runtime, space that you're using, et cetera. Uh, probability is actually not very easy either. Um, and also these models uh, um, are kind of a bit restrictive in the way they, uh, uh, they frame or capture uh, uh, systems. And we'll talk about specific issues later on. Uh, have to do with the scheduling, with the addressing, uh, with the dynamicity of, 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 of the network, how dynamic it is. Um, so, so in a sense, uh, uh, in the end, at least I wasn't able to use them easily to, to, to capture things that, 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 that they wanted. Um, and then, on the other hand, the other end of the scale, so that the kind of traditional cryptographic uh, modeling of things, um, things that capture things like uh, asymantic security, which is like an amazing notion, right? And uh, kind of like... Uh, uh, well deserved the Turing award that it got, and it's kind of like really a new way of thinking. Uh, we just uh, put uh, uh, um, computational resources as the center of what's uh, information, of what's knowledge, and the, the, the ability to, to capture what it is that you learn in the computational way, uh, and, uh, and zero knowledge also in the, in, in the same way. Um, and then other things that cryptographic uh, uh, animals that people uh, from, from crypto like, commitment, secure function evaluation, et cetera, there are all these, these cryptographic concepts that uh, take a very different slant in defining them because they can only be meaningful f under, you know, in, in a computational sense. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's a really different world that kind of like doesn't speak very well with the other set of definitions. Uh, and and uh, and it has, as I said, uh, nice things about it, uh, but, uh, but it also has problems, right? It actually lacks in exactly in the places where there's other, other models uh, are strong. Uh, it's not modular. Definitions are not modular in, in a natural way. Uh, they don't compose. Uh, and uh, and as, as a result, security guarantees are not meaningful in larger contexts. So, 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 so there is a disconnect here. So, uh, uh, so what we try to do is try to get something which is the best of both, right? Which is modular, composable, kind of uh, can, can actually uh, do things in, in a fi finer grain, in, in, in a wider grain, uh, and still get uh, uh, kind of cryptographic soundness. Um, and, uh, and also, uh, we want to be able to, to play again with this trade-off between being more abstract uh, and simple as opposed to more concrete and complex. 
and, uh, uh, and usually those things come together, load and load don't need to, but uh, and, try and be able to kind of move along this axis uh, uh, as we want, okay? 